Welcome back everyone, welcome to another lecture. Here we are going to deal with this edit functionality. So now in our edit controller, what we can do just to save time, we can copy what's everything what's inside the index and I'm gonna close the index because we are honestly finished here. So I'm just gonna copy one more line here and say edit your personal information information and we can leave the name if you want or whatever you can delete the other one let's do delete the other one now here we do have the row we don't have the image yet we're gonna create that one yet later now in this column D actually I'm just gonna close this table here actually I'm not gonna close it because I can't delete it, so I'm gonna delete this table. So I cut it, but you can just delete it. Now, what we need to here, we need a form. So remember that we can use um, Laravel Collective. So we will use that syntax. Now, here I need this, like that, and I need double exclamation. So you can copy, go, in copy so form open and here I will say inside I will just specify the action and remember we have done this previously in our lectures so if you go to the first part of the of the course we're doing all of this so users controller and I just want to hit the update method now also the second parameter is this user ID because I can access that user ID because I'm finding it and I'm passing this to profile edit so I do have this user ID right now after that so I mean when we are finished with that go outside here and just create a method and this method will be batch or yeah patch so let me just lower it one more down in order to see it and after that yeah I think we are done here now in the we are still inside this call MD8 right we're gonna use here the protection the protection so we're gonna use C S R F and when you hit it like that it will it will create another add symbol so which is not preferred now form group let's create a class form group come on what's happening inside this form group I will have a label so I'm just gonna go for it like this label email for email and I will say class what else label control This is a bootstrap classes. Now, what else we do have here? Um, so we can say user email, and we're gonna close that one here. Now, one more thing that we need to put here is the actual user, uh, the form input. But it's not gonna be input, it's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be form, and we're gonna say email, and it will be type email so if you don't know look it up so it will be empty and I will have sorry class we can add classes remember class and what I can see here inside I can add form control and here I will say well, I'm not gonna put a placeholder actually by the way or we need to do a placeholder enter a new email probably and now before we doing the, the we doing the placeholders over value I saw that we have here an error now one more error that we do have is we haven't actually 
install or require our Laravel Collective. So how we can do that? So I'm gonna go here and say Laravel Collective. And we are version seven, but I'm, they don't have it version seven. Yes, they don't have it. But let's just require it like this and see what's happening, all right? And I'm gonna pause the video and I will let you know when it's done. Now the package is installed successfully, although it's using this 6.1 version and that's not ideal, but let's let's see what's happened. What's gonna happen if I refresh and if I go there? Here it is, and we do have some problem which we will fix it because we do have some problem with the curly brace brackets. This one and this one here. And also, I think this one are good. Let's see. Yeah, so we are going to change it, but I'm not gonna we're not gonna do it like this. We're gonna say new email address and so here what I'm thinking that we need to change a couple of things. So if you go back to here, it will be new email address. Very good. Now here I don't want to have empty but I can always use user uh, email right now I don't want a placeholder this was for the placeholder let's see what's happening now very good now also what you can do class margin margin of margin let's say dash 2 and let's see what's happening here it is now it's a little bit better so I have new email address and I have the email address there but before this I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it here and I'm going to say here I'm going to say for name and new user name very good and I'm gonna say here name this will be not form email it will be form text right and here will be form uh, name class it will be form control and that's pretty much it let's just check it out here it is new username very good and the last thing that we want to change or we able to update will be the password now that will be a little bit tricky but we're gonna put it like this also, if you open the Laravel Collective, there is a lot of things that you can read. As I told you, you can open it like this. I've put double curly braces, that's why. And I'm missing this close. All right? So I'm opening, and after this one, so for example, before this, I need to close it, form close. That is the most essential part. Now, the last part, it will be not email, but it will be new password. very good if I can type it correctly here the label will be for password and yep here we will say for password email it's not gonna be email it's gonna be password and here we're not gonna have anything inside the form like that I think we are good to go. Let's save it and let's see what's happening. So new password, it's empty, right? And if you type it, it will be like that. So if you are doing uh, view page source, where is it? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna inspect it. I just wanna show you the form, All right? So here it is. This is a form group. So input type hidden value patch. The token is there. And we have the hidden. So we have method token and hidden. Also we have this one form. So it's showing input class form control name type value rig. Because we put here this one will represent the value. Now we are closing the form. Very good. But before that, I'm just gonna close this one. Before that, we need to find a way how to submit this form, all right? So after this div, 
here or above the close what we can do we can say form submit and we can say edit user that will be the name here and what I will say here class I will give it a class of BTN 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 success BTN block let's put it in let's put a padding of four instead of margin here also apply padding of two so I'm just gonna change it and I'm gonna put a padding of two so click a one alt uh, padding of two let's save it and see what's happening very good it looks better right so I have the edit user and S is with capital it shouldn't be like that it looks interesting but it's not good so when we hit this one we should go to the update right so when we hit this one we should go to the update now this is happening because why I don't have it here okay here it is user I didn't refresh now next time we will deal with how we can use our update request in what we need to do in order to stop or in order to have to stop prevent anyone to enter this and to update our information for example if you don't want this one to be included yeah you already know how we how we have done that one in the practice but we will deal with that a little bit and we will be able to update and this is the portfolio portal profile photo that we don't have it anymore so in future we can just change that and we update the profile photo as well so that is how this one is looking now here we do have the profile so we can change this one see we need to change it now to link to this here very good uh, that will we will do a lot of other things in future if you don't sure now if you don't want to use this form you can use normal form and when I say normal form it's like this so if you if you go open up and view page source I'm just gonna control F and say form here it is form start so now it's not that one actually okay where is the form I don't want to look here it is now this is the form that you can use it regularly without this I mean so here you need to put input type method type hidden value patch and stuff like that so you don't that's why I prefer using the uh, more elegant way of this one but in future I promise you that we're gonna use some simple form just to show you that you can use simple forms that you are used to uh, in every day or every other like uh, language and we can just use that form and submit the information and do all of these things so thank you very much so this class was interesting I hope you are gonna join me in the next one so we can update the user thanks